and Michael War. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was uh, so great to be here. I was just asked just two days ago to pinch hit um, as a poet t tonight. And I, I realize how ironic that is because just a, about a week ago, I received in the mail the first poetry trading cards. <laughs> this is uh, actually a poetry trading card, and it has my poetic statistics in the back. So I, I, I just realized it when I was standing back here. Uh, one of the... Um, things that had struck me for a long time that I wanted to write about was how somehow um, beauty manages to emerge and survive out of oppression. And I think this applies for every culture. And that idea was percolating in my mind, and, but I didn't want it to be an essay. I didn't want it to be um, a journalistic piece. It just was not becoming a poem yet. It was still just an idea. And then one night I was watching this old video, a clip of Ella Fitzgerald performing with Duke Ellington. And at one moment, Ella Fitzgerald just spontaneously started scatting. And Duke Ellington was not expecting this. And he looked over at her and he had this uh, look of amazement you know, on his face from this incident. And it was at that moment that that idea became a poem. So this is the piece, it's called Duke Checks Out Ella As She Scats Like That. <laughs> when Ella starts scatting, she, Magnolia, planted beside Duke playing that tonal Ouija board. And he swings her that slick, startled, woman, you too bad, intonation. When the Duke do that, survival becomes a god to marvel at, even with the creator of Mount Kilimanjaro. Survival transmuted from St. Timonius sanctioned genocide to, to African angels swinging that singing like a trumpet made of clouds and lightning, dropping walls in a way that can only be called biblical, metaphysical, and the umbilical between heaven and Hades, where the devil is an angel swinging sounds that defy atrocity. When Ella starts scatting and in an approaching layer of time, Nina Simone wells of four women. After Lady Day casts southern trees in a bright white light that not only dreamingly signaled death, but was death, and we are majestically resurrected by Mahalia, a miracle happens, continues to happen, more than a mere resurrection, a triumph over inhumanity. When Ella starts scatting because the trumpet man Armstrong momentarily, then momentously, forgot his words, spontaneously inventing this ingenious tongue, and James Brown put horns and strings and funk and things, a primal electrified scream all in the same thing, 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 and Papa's got a brand new bag lets us know it is never ending. Never ending, always something new in a penetrating the old, like the digital ripping off of the godfather of analog riffs by the hip hopping cab Callaways of today. A ghettoized tribute to his funknosity, to his global tenacity, to the Yoruba way that lives in every beat and be note created by our creators when Ella scats like that. Thank you. <laughs> 